Welcome to the last video in the Boolean series. In this video, we will look at some of the more complicated Boolean expressions and their truth tables. Now, let's make matters a little bit more complicated by using more brackets. P and R or Q and R if then P or not Q. First thing that we want to establish is to find out how many different inputs are there. P, R, Q, R, P, Q. There are altogether three different letters. So P, Q, R. Again, three different letters. 2 to the 3 gives me 8, so I'm going to have 8 different input combinations or 8 different rows in the truth table. Half of 8 is 4, so I'm going to start with 4 trues and then 4 falses. Then half of 4 is 2, so I'm going to have 2 true, 2 false until I fill up the table. Then just use true false, true false to fill in the last column. Now, let's look at the different brackets. I have got a square bracket here, which is combining together this bracket using the if then operation. So to be able to use the if then operation, first I need to know what is the value inside the square bracket. But unfortunately, inside the square bracket, I have got two different brackets. So first I need to calculate the P and R. Then I need to calculate the Q and R. Then I will be able to calculate what are the values in the square bracket. Now to save some space, I'm just going to put the square bracket sign into here. Now once I've got the square bracket, I need to combine the values of the square bracket with this bracket. But inside this bracket, I have got a not Q as well. So first I will need to calculate the value of not Q, then I will be able to calculate the P or not Q values, and once I've got that, I will be able to use the value for the if then operation. And because there are no other if then operations, I can use the if then, op if then operation here instead of having to write the whole thing out, because then that would again just take up to my space in here. So let's get started. P and R. I'm using these two columns, the P and the R columns, and I'm using an AND. Again, what do I know about the AND? AND is only true if both of them are true. This is true for both of them. That is not, so it will be false. That's true for both of them. That's going to give me true. That is not, gives me a false. That is not, gives me a false. False, false, and false again. Then I'm going to have to use the Q and R. So Q and R, both of them are true, gives me back a true value. They are different, that gives me back a false value. They both false, that still gives me a false value because it's the end. Both true gives me true, false, false, false. Now, that's great. What I need to do next is to find out what is the overall value combinations in the square bracket. Now, in the square bracket, I'm combining together these two using the OR. So this is this column, and that is this column, and I'm going to need to combine them together using the OR. What do I know about the OR? The OR is only false if both of them are false. In every other case, the OR returns true. So, that's true, this is false, that is true, that is false, true, false, false, false. So, I've got the square bracket. Next thing I need is the not Q. Q is here, so the not Q would be just where Q is true, not Q will be false, and when Q is false, not true, not Q will be true. Uh, 
I've got the not queue now and what I need is the P or not queue. P or not queue. P is this one and not queue is this one. Now they are quite far away from each other but it's just an OR operation. Again if at least one of them is true then the OR will return are true. So true false gives me true, true false gives me true, true true gives me true, true true gives me true, false and false gives me a false, false and false give me a false, false or true gives me a true, and false or true gives me a true again. And then the last step is that I need to use the if then operation. Which two columns do I need to use the if then operation for? I need to use for this and I need to use for the square bracket. Now this is my A because this is what's on the left side for the if then symbol and this is my B because this is on the right side of the if then symbol. True, if then true returns a true value. False, if then true, returns a true value. True, if then true, returns a true value. False, if then true, returns a true value. True, if then false, returns a false value. False, if then false, returns a true value. False, if then true, returns a true value. And false, if then true, again, returns a true value. There is a curiosity about this truth table because if you look at the final output values there is only one false output in here. Everything else is true. Let's finish this video with a very complicated truth value table. Let me show you what you have to do if you have got four input values. So, P, X or Q and not R if and only if not Q or S. Now I have got four different letters P, Q, R and S. Now 2 to the 4 equals 16. So I'm going to have a rather long truth value table. So let's start building it up. I've got P I've got Q, I've got R, and I've got S. Now what's the half of 16? Half of 16 is 8. So I'm going to have to start with putting down 8 trues and 8 forces. just about. Then the next step I'm going to put down four trues and four forces. Four true again and four false again. Next one half of four is two so two true, two false, two true, false, false again until I finish with the whole table and in the last one is just three fours alternating all the way down. Okay, that's the start of the table. Then what I need to look at is breaking up the brackets finding out the priorities. So there is a square bracket and within the square bracket I have got a normal bracket and a not. So I can combine together P, X or Q. Then I would need to find out the not R and if I've been able to calculate that I will be able to calculate what is inside the square bracket. 
then once the square bracket has been done then I need to look at what's on the other side of the if and only if symbol on the other side I have got not Q or S to be able to calculate that first I need to calculate not Q then I can do the not Q or S and once that's been done I can calculate the if and only if which will give me the final output so let's get started P XOR Q what do I know about the XOR? the XOR is the exclusive OR which is only true if one or the other is exclusively true so basically if the inputs are different then the XOR will be true P XOR Q so the first two columns they are the same so the XOR returns a false they are different the XOR returns a true they are different so the XOR still returns a true and in here they are the same so the XOR returns a false so the next column in our truth value table will be the not R so where R is true not R will be false and when R is false not R will be true false false true true false false true true false false true true again so I've got my starting values again I need to calculate what's inside the square bracket so what's inside the square bracket I'm combining together the XOR and the NOT R using the AND operation what do you remember about the AND operation? it's only true if both of them are true so let's come through that is both of them are true so I'm going to place a true sign there same here 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 and the rest of them are all different or double forces so I can just fill in the rest of the table with false then calculate not Q well Q is here and not Q will be just the opposite of what's in the Q column so true will be false and false will be true And then what I need to do here is combine together not Q and S using the OR operation. So what do I remember about the OR? The OR is only false if both of them are false. So let's try to filter out those inputs. Not both false, both of them are false, so this will be a false in here both of them are false so that's another false both of them are false here is another false here is one more so the rest of them I can fill in with trues lovely so the final answer is the if and only if and what do I combine together to get the final answer on one side I've got the square bracket which is here and the other side I have got the not Q or S which is here so if and only if returns true if the inputs are the same and it returns false if the inputs are different true and false different so the if and only if gives me false false and false the same so the if and only if gives me true different 
force, same, true, different force, different force, same again, true, same, different, same, same, Different gives me a force, 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 and a different at the end again gives me a force. So this is the final answer for this long and rather complicated Boolean expression. And as you see, there are quite a bit of different combinations of force and truths. I hope that by now, you have been able to build a good understanding of the Boolean expression and the truth tables. I have a few last practice questions for you and the answers will follow. So these are the practice questions. And here are the answers.